Well, finally, we get custom firmware for custom for for KV A12, made by Tim Mupong. In today's video, we show how to prepare for install it. Then, thanks again for Tim Mupong. Uh, here we go. Before start with the process of flashing unit device, we must prepare the tools we need. We need the driver for the PC to recognize our device when plug it with the mail to mail USB. Also, we must download the firmware if your Pokedi have the return button at the dry at the right you must download rep one e then if your pokey have the return button on the center you have you must download rep two e okay the ends with key is for korean language only must download ended in e also, we must download Android tools for do the flash. And in the description, if you want to prepare a clear SD, uh, I put a download with the essential files for made the essential uh, for made the clear SD. Sorry. Okay. I will use a, a 256 gigabytes SD and I decide to use a clear one and start uh, with the uh, files we need to put then, okay? Well, here we see the image that we must flash to port QE and also have a folder called SD root that are files that must go to the SD root, okay? Before flash, you, uh, you must have these uh, files as I show you on the screen. Sorry for the bad video quality, uh, my camera is a bit horrible, okay? Then we unzip the files. Uh, we install the drivers and wait for the installation. Okay, you want to install yes. Well, the driver is installed. Okay, next step Android tools. We must unzip it uh, also. Well, now this compares. Next step the image uh, for burn for flash or device. Sorry. And wait. Next step. It's uh, remove the six screws that are on on the Pokedi base, okay? First, you remove the plastic tapes, and under it are the screws. Be careful with the plastic uh, pieces because have glue on it. We must not uh, lose it because it's uh, for has it fixed it without glue it's difficult to have it on on the place that are I'm trying to put it safe uh, respect 
thing in the order that I remove it, okay? Not problem taking it off, okay? It's only be patient and doing it, okay? Well, the last one. It seems okay. The six screws on the base are out, and now this this two small. Other, another this two we must take off or remove sorry well Next step, once the six screws are over and the two of the upper position, we make a, a, li a, a little pressure and we can take up the, the upper, pay, upper case, okay? And here we can see the the PCB okay I need a light because I can see nothing well I need someone that offers me a HD cam for record these images once we take this it, it's not needed to take all the, ta the case up here in the left part of the PCB, we can see a small button, okay? Here, okay, it may click. When we put the finger on, we can hear click. It's a little micro switch, okay? It's at the left of the USB pieces. Now, we have to put the male to male USB to the upper USB. I change position. Well, you have to put, as I said before, the US male to male in the in the up USB. Okay. Plug in and then to the PC. Uh, okay. Previously, remember you have to install the drivers. If previously we have installed the drivers, now when when I plug is okay. Now press the micro switch on the PCB. At the same time, power on the the Pokidi and you will hear a uh, Windows uh, beep that represents the PC have uh, recognized our unit or device, okay? Now uh, we open Android Tools and Android Tools must recognize of uh, our device. Well, we see that have a red a green highlight okay and and the uh, down place phone one marron device that uh, would be good uh, the application detects our device eh? and the next step it's only flash the unit it's the hard part and the danger part of all the process okay Verificate that it's phone mass room, okay? If not phone mass room, the device it's not recognized. Well, 
Well, we go to the firmware option and we search for the previous firmware have we have downloaded to the PC. Okay, I download uh, the Red One E, selected this, it uh, was saved as selected. Then, then go to upgrade option and the process uh, of flash down unit begins, okay? Well, it takes a little time, well. Boot device success. Okay. Here we see the results. I have the Team Mupon background. Now we search for the RetroArc.NES. Ah, wait, I, I don't prepare the SD before. Uh, my mistake. Wait, I save it here and go prepare the SD. I'm preparing the SD with the files, then must wait the, the files from RetroArch uh, was passed to the SD, okay? Once I have prepared this, okay, SD is prepared. It was an interesting trip. Now we have to verify that RetroArch was correct, okay? We go to the file, file, and search for retroarc.nes. Okay, here's it. Retroarc.nes. Oh, here we go. Okay, voila. Retroarc is here. Mission accomplished. Uh, new RetroArch version for our device it's a uh, remember it's a beta have a lot of bugs but it's a uh, beginning i hope the video was helpful and you will do the step for flash it and it's not difficult you only have to have clear the steps you must do for have it installed okay Hope uh, you enjoy it. Please subscribe and see you on next video. Bye bye.